welcome to the Creatives Get Real podcast. I'm Robin Marie Smith. And I'm Sandy Keene. And these are real conversations about the creative life. Hey, Robin Marie. Hey, how are you today? I'm still doing good. Thanks. Awesome. Mm. You? Yes, I'm doing great. Today's a good day. Awesome. Good. Well, we're going to talk about something that comes up a lot in our own lives Mm -hmm. and in the people that we help. Yes. Would you like to to unveil the topic? Yes. We are going to talk today about finding your voice. What is that? What does that mean? And how do we find it? Yes. And we're talking specifically Mm -hmm. about written word. Yeah. Wow. Strikes fear in my heart. (laughs) (laughs) It strikes fear in a lot of people's Mm -hmm. hearts. I I hear this a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to write. I don't know what to write. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. Would you please do it for me? (laughs) If you had a dollar for every time I asked you that, right? (laughs) It's true. It's so true. And, and I have shared this before. I, you know, my, I have such a lack of confidence in that area that there's times when it paralyzes me. And I, I liken it to the comparison of, I, I, I would imagine the way I feel about having to write or approach writing is much like the creative who is terrified of tech or who, Mm -hmm. how they feel. They'll avoid it. They don't do it. They don't know where to start. They don't know what to do. So they don't, I feel that way about writing. And it's weird because when I was younger, I enjoyed writing and I don't know if something happened along the way. Um, I don't know, but it's definitely a struggle that I have. And so I think it's a great topic to share because we have to be able to communicate through the written word. We have to share yeah. our stories and our who we are and, and about ourselves and communicate things through our art, but also through our words. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Especially if you're going to be, if you want to take your art into a business, yeah. then, you know, written word is so important mm-hmm. and it can be difficult. So we have some tips. Let's talk about them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take the first one, yeah. and mm-hmm. that is to to compare or rely on your speaking voice when you're writing. Mm-hmm. And what this means is the people that come to me and say, I don't know how to write, or I don't know what my voice is in writing, are extremely articulate people. They speak so well, especially when you get them talking about something that they're passionate about, their, mm-hmm. their love. Um, I'm like, really? Because you speak so beautifully. How can, you know, how can that not translate? And I think that some people just think that they're so different, that there's this great chasm that you have to jump from what you say verbally to what you write. So I think if you can rely more on your speaking voice, the one that you're comfortable with, Mm-hmm. And then write, actually dictate as you're, you're speaking, mm-hmm. that helps a lot. Wow. And I, mm-hmm. I think it helps build confidence too. It's like, okay, if I said to you, um, I'm going to call you up and we're going to talk about your favorite art supplies. Are you comfortable with that? You're like, heck yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. Because I know the topic. You, yeah. Yeah. Okay, can you write me a guest blog post on your favorite art supplies? You're like, no, go away. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't do that. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. But they're they're very much correlated. But here's the thing, and maybe someone out there who's listening has already thought this. There's a difference, and this is this is my you know this is the other side. There's a okay. difference here. The difference is is that I'm having a conversation with you. And I'm comfortable with you and we can chit chat and go back and forth, but a blog post goes out into the public and there's Mm -hmm. judgment and there's, you know, there's someone, more people looking at it and they're, you know, whatever. And I'm not as funny as that writer, or I am too technical of a writer. I'm not, you know, it doesn't flow whatever, but a conversation is different. So that's what I'm thinking when you say that it's like, yeah, it's Mm -hmm. the same, but it's different. Yeah. So that's, that's the same as the person who doesn't want to post their artwork because they're afraid that yes. it, it won't stack up, that they'll be mm-hmm. judged, that someone will make fun of them or ask them, why, why are you bothering? Your art's not good enough to post. Oh, you did have to make that comparison, right? <laughs> 
Well, that's because it's true. I know, I know. <laughs> but it's true. it's the same thing. It's mm-hmm. just confidence yes. in saying, yes. hey, I'm not saying I'm the best, but I'm showing up. Mm-hmm. True, you're right. So you're it, right. it's just showing up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, you want to take the next one? Okay, number two, we're sharing the idea of doing a pra- you know, practicing, like we do a daily art practice, do daily writing whether it's in your journal, whether it's morning pages, uh, anything that gets you at least practicing. Because again, it, the same with art. If you're practicing, you're going to get better. The right. same goes with writing. And I'm speaking to myself more than <laughs> anything here, anyone else. Because yeah, that's something that, yeah, I just need to do more of it to gain that confidence. Yeah. Yeah. And it should be a short period of time. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't bog yourself down on feeling like you have to write an essay. (laughs) We're talking like free form writing for 10 minutes every Mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. And it will, it will start to get easier. The idea here is to get your thoughts and your, your emotions and your information that you want to share down on paper. We'll worry about you know, grammar and sentence structure some other time. Mm-hmm. This is just yeah. about getting those thoughts down and free flowing and getting comfortable with thoughts on paper. Yep. Mm-hmm. Practice. It's a good one. <laughs> Practice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Number three, speak to one person. When you're writing, it is so much easier. Think of it as a letter. Mm-hmm. You know, when you're writing like an Instagram caption or a blog post, think of it as a letter that you're writing to the person that you trust and who will never make fun of you and never judge you and write to that person. Oh, I mean, we're writing to mom <laughs> or our bestie yeah. or our daughter or whoever mm-hmm. it is that a dog get, could be it or be. your cat whatever. Yeah. yeah. But speak to one person. It makes it so much easier and more personal when you feel Mm -hmm. like you don't have to meet the needs of every Mm -hmm. reader in the world. You're just writing to one person. Sometimes I I have to stop and think about that when I'm writing an an Instagram caption. I'm thinking if I struggle and I tend to be more, I lean way more technical in my writing. Like I don't mean technical as in explaining techie things. I mean, very I don't know. Corporate, I think is the word that you've used before to say, we need to work on this. Like, it's just really it's formal. Not, it's impersonal. It's impersonal. Yeah. And so I stop and go, wait a minute. If you were going to start this sentence, the very beginning of this caption, how would you write it as if you were just speaking to that one person and you're wanting them to be the one that goes, oh, she's talking to me make it that way. And so I've often had to go back and go, okay, yeah, delete that. Let's start over. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you're not talking to the masses you are, but you're not, you want to be speaking to that one person. And so that can be tough, but think about it that way. Yeah. Well, I love what you just said about someone saying, Oh, she's talking to me. Mm -hmm. Um, That's when, when you connect with another person through your writing, that's the goal right there. I mean, you get an A plus star on your forehead. <laughs> you get to wear the banner. Uh, I mean, you, you yeah. that's it right there mm-hmm. is, oh, she's speaking to me. Mm-hmm. That's so powerful. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Your turn. Num- All right. Number four is understanding your purpose. This is really important because I think that what, depending on how, what you're writing for, whether it's the blog post, whether it's, um, whether it is a letter, whether it's to um, communicate a new course that you have, that you're, that you have for sale, or whether it's the Instagram caption, you know, what's the purpose of what you're writing? What do you mm-hmm. want to achieve by this? What is, what are your goals? And I think that sometimes, at least for me, I'll sometimes forget that when I'm sitting there trying to focus on this, or I will overthink it. And then I put too much stress on myself by overthinking it and thinking, oh my gosh, it's not good enough. It's not perfect. It's not going to do what I want it to do. Or did I communicate this effectively? So there's both sides. One, I need to be focused on what it is and the purpose. And then sometimes I get way on the other side where I'm just like overthinking it and going, Mm -hmm. now I'm really not able to do this. So yeah. Yeah. I think the more that you define what you're writing 
it makes it so much easier. I like to think about the example of when you're, let's say that you have a project that you're going to work on. And if you look at every supply in your whole room, you're completely overwhelmed. I've got, you know, 400 paper choices. I've got 17 <laughs> paint colors. But if you get a box and you mm. build yourself a little kit and you work out of that kit, mm -hmm. there, there's your choices. Right. You, you make it so, so much more approachable. Yeah. So if you define who you're talking to, you define, define did I say that right? Define mm -hmm. uh, what your purpose is. What are you trying to communicate here? Yeah. You, you've eliminated so many options that it, mm -hmm. you can like, oh, okay, I can do this. Yeah. Yeah. Take a deep breath and then you start. So mm -hmm. work from a kit. Okay. Which actually is a great lead into um, number five. Number five is working from an outline or notes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Start defining mm -hmm. some of those parameters, narrowing it down. What am I yep. doing? Yep. And mm -hmm. those key phrases that you, you want to, to put in there. And if you have these little fragments that you've already created, mm -hmm. now you just build the words around mm -hmm. it and kind of fluff it up. Yeah. But you've already got the heart of it. Yeah. That and that's, makes it and so that's much really, easier. That, and that's something I, even, I learned in my journalism classes in college is that you, you work from the, the who, what, where, when, and why. That is, that is the structure. That, and I'm not saying that's what you do with this, but it kind of is. It's the who. Yeah, who are you speaking to? What? I mean, it very much, if you can break that down and create an outline and then key points that you want to make sure you get across, then that can make it a little bit easier. I mean, don't we use that in other areas too that, you know, that aren't maybe related to writing? I mean, just like you said, it's narrow it down, define it a little bit, and then go to work. Mm -hmm. And then if you create a template or so or a process that you Definitely. find is making it easier then use that stick until, to it until yeah and then you're it'll become second nature to you did I just say that because I I need to do that <laughs> well wow, I that's really good advice nature. <laughs> I'm like what that's great advice oh yeah <laughs> epiphany Everything. hold hey, for I, a moment hey i said i'm speaking to me these are all tips that i need to i'm writing them down all right the last one number six is to talk it out and and to make notes and we we this is something that you and i do where yep. we'll talk things through and you'll ask me questions and then i will speak because i'm comfortable that way and then right they're written down and then it's like oh wow well there it is but having someone to kind of work with you can help that as well. And you Definitely. tremendously help me tremendously in that area. But that's, that's one good way to do it too. Whether it's a friend or a spouse or someone um, just asking the questions and then, you know, putting the words down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because when you speak and we'll talk about you and me specifically, you and I, when um, you have to write an article and you're like, okay, can you talk me through this? All I do is I ask questions and then you will speak the actual words and I'll hear them and go, holy cow, that was great. And I'll write down, you know, that little phrase yep. that you said yep. and mm -hmm. the, the main points. It's just having someone, it's like having both sides of your brain working at the same time. So only you're assigning one part of the brain to some, yeah. someone yeah. else. Right. So you're just getting to free form speak and talk and not think about structure Right. And someone else is capturing all the mm -hmm. jewels and then creating a structure mm -hmm. from it. And this really is the, this is the gold for me. This is what really works the best. I think yes. for me is, is this, you know, I, I can do and practice some of these other things, but we have discovered that this just works best for me, my brain, my whatever, um, which isn't really something I think I would have even thought of until we started doing that together. And it's like, wow, this is really effective. It works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times when I'm coaching that I stop someone and, and I say this all the time, like <laughs> that should be my tag. Hold the bus. <laughs> it's like, stop, write that down mm -hmm. because they will say something that one answers their own question and two is so profoundly brilliant or enlightening like there's your answer right there. Stop. Write that down. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. and I will say. And then what? I know. I'll be going. Really? 
like <laughs> really and then you're like looking at me like duh what do I have to do <laughs> Yeah, yes, I give you really. the look. <laughs> I get the, the look. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Yes, that that was it right there. Aww. Trust me. Yeah, that's funny. That yeah. is so funny. Mm -hmm. But that is a process that works great for you. Yes. And mm -hmm. I'm sure it will for other people who find, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of uncomfortable roadblock when yeah. you pick up mm -hmm. a pencil or a pen and it's kind of like the empty page with a paintbrush. You're like, mm -hmm. I don't know where to start. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, bring mm -hmm. br limit your tools, make an outline. If you can talk through it with a friend, mm -hmm. it's so helpful. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Do you want to recap? You, sure, All I'll right, do this ahead. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, compare your speaking voice and rely on it when you're writing. Practice some sort of written practice, morning pages, journal pages. Speak to one person, define that person, and just speak right to them. Understand the purpose of your writing. Number five, work from an outline or notes. And number six, talk it out with a friend who will take notes mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. hopefully people will find those things helpful and Maybe the next time they have to write something, it won't be mm -hmm. quite so nerve wracking. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, you know, this ends season two, this episode, we are going to take a break guys and be back in July. Yes. We're going to take June off mm -hmm. and we hope and we pray that June is a better month mm -hmm. than the last three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. But we are just, we're going to wrap up this wraps up season two and we'll come back in July with season three and uh, you know, keep your suggestions for podcast topics coming. We love to hear. Oh, we love you. those. Um, and that's really helpful because then we're, we know what it is that you would like, you know, for us to talk about. And um, yeah, so we're always open to those suggestions. And if you've submitted and we just haven't talked about it yet, it is on our list because we got a whole bunch of them on our list. So yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Enjoy your break. Yes. Enjoy your break. I'll see you though during the next month. So heck yeah, absolutely. All right. Bye guys. Take care. Thank you for listening to this episode of creatives get real. We love hearing from you. So hop on over to Instagram and leave us a comment. And we also appreciate reviews on iTunes. And you can find me, Sandy Keen, at sandykeen.com and my classes at popupartclasses.com. And you can find me, Robin Marie Smith at robinmarie.com. And if you're looking for and need tech support, check out my membership site, makerstechu.com.